Hi, it's Joshua Chisla here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a snow desert set extension in Adobe After Effects. Um, my shot is not a moving shot, so basically it'll be a lot easier for you. But if uh, you do have a moving shot and you want the background to move with it, all you got to do is just track your motion, uh, and then you can uh, m uh, move on from there. So I have this image of a snow desert landscape, kind of and um, I'm going to place it in the background of my footage so I'm just going to turn down the opacity so I can see what's going on um, I'm going to rotate the image so that way it lines up with this a little better that's pretty good the way it is jump the opacity a little more now I'm going to mask it out. Turn back up the opacity to the top and I'm going to feather it a lot. So now it's blended in a little better with the background. Now I'm going to color correct it so that way it fits the scene better. So I'm going to add the effect called Curves. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and blend the colors in better so it looks like it fits the scene. So I'll take down the red, turn it more of a bluish color, take up the blues. Might take greens down a little bit. And that's kind of blending in a lot more nice. I'm just going to see the RGB and maybe bring it up or down. Okay, basically that uh, blends in a lot better with the scene. Now what I'm going to do is make the snow now, so make a new layer, a new solid, uh, a black solid, and I'm going to change the width and the height to 1500 by 1000. Then I'm going to add the effect called CC Snow. And change the transfer mode to add. I'm going to turn on the motion blur uh, for the composition and turn the motion blur on for the snow. Um, I'm going to take the amount and bring it up a little more. The speed, I'll turn up a fair sized amount. Um, the amplitude up and the frequency. So that way it basically jitters around more. Uh, the flake size, I don't think you have to adjust. Uh, and now I'm just going to rotate it so that way it's more on an angle. Um, just going to stretch that out more. And make a new solid again. Make a comp size. Um, ramp. the white to maybe a darker blue and this maybe a medium now I'm going to make a new adjustment layer and hue and saturation this is just for color correction now so you're basically done the snow desert effect but now I'm just going to Add a little more color correction to it. Take down the opacity about 45. And the last thing I'm going to do is a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to add my uh, aspect ratio. Now basically you're done the effect. Uh, that's basically how you do it, and thanks for watching. 
Uh, please subscribe and check out my personal channel, uh, Jumper360, and subscribe there too. Thanks for watching, and a new tutorial coming up next time will be on a wand effect. Okay, see ya.